You're with me, Andile Masugo, on It's My Biz, the big show for small business, brought to you by Nedbank Small Business Services. In the biz beam this week, we've got Heather Goet from Lab Skin and Body. We've also had Francis Wright, Thane Nimant, and Mike Said. Last thoughts, starting with you, Francis. Heather, you've got everything it takes. Just make sure you've got the right people, the right amount of people, and then find ways to hang on to them. Great, Thane. Fight financially hard and let's improve those profits. Mike, let's find out what you have to say. Well, I'm looking forward to following you on Twitter. Lab underscore skin underscore body, all those other social media channels watching your business grow. Ooh. Thank you. I will too, but not before we go and check out what's been happening at Skin Lab and Body. Heather knows that she has to operate her business in a very competitive market. Mike pointed out that Heather needs to find ways to make her customers feel different. Heather, what I imagine in the business is that people as they walk in feel completely differently to anywhere else. It's yes. a kind of moments of truth. As they walk in, what kind of greeting are they going to get? When they arrive at the counter, what are they going to get? If you're going to give them water or refreshment or some coffee, what exactly are they going to get? Okay. I want you to start putting yourself in the mind of the customer. Mm -hmm. Think customer, what's the experience I'd like to enjoy? Yes. What's the greeting I would like to get? Heather needs to create a unique experience for her customers. Mike's advice was that she make them feel special by building moments of truth from when customers enter that differentiates her business from competitors. Mike felt that Heather needed to collect useful information from her clients to help personalize her marketing and to make the best use of the social media that's available. Heather can further enhance the customer experience by utilizing the information she gathers to help attract and retain customers. Building a presence on Facebook, Twitter, and other social media will further enhance her presence and attract clients. Branding is an essential element ensuring the awareness of lab skin and body is enhanced. The external branding needs to be more visible. Mike also advised on a plasma screen that will attract the attention of passers-by and branded giveaways for customers to keep lab skin and body top of mind. Thane had some advice for Heather. The way she manages her time is crucial in effectively managing her business. Thane has provided Heather with practical time management guidelines that will assist in allocating tasks during her busy day. Thane also pointed out that cash flow management is crucial to the profitable functioning of Heather's business. Heather needs to look carefully at costs and specials. To improve cash flow and profitability, Heather needs to look at reducing expenses where it makes sense and understand when running specials the effect discounts have on her bottom line. Francis saw that Heather needs to carefully monitor how many people she employs, their daily activities, and to manage this against the volume of clients coming through the door. Heather needs to ensure that her staff's productivity is optimized to deal with the amount of customers on a daily basis. All biz whizzers had valuable tips for Heather dealing with staff motivation. To differentiate ourselves from the rest of the salons in the area is to personalize the experience that our clients ha has in the business. So from the moment she walks in through the door, the way you greet her and preferably greeting her by name, by offering her a drink before she goes into the treatment. Um, definitely by calling them on their birthday, giving them a telephone call and wishing them happy birthday. Yes, I think that's a great idea. Those kind of things are very, very important and actually make a client feel like they belong in the place that they're coming to and that they actually are cared and thought about, apart from just, you know, doing their treatments for them. Heather can apply the various guidelines given, as she feels is appropriate, to create an environment of building a motivated team. Fantastic. Now, that's hard to miss. Brand is standing out a lot more. Heather's ready to do business. And what about this? Plasma screen? Good idea to catch the attention of people passing by. Hello, Heather. Hi, Dile. How are you doing? Fantastic. Love the sign. So, Heather, how about that plasma screen and how it works with your branding on the outside? Fantastic. It is. It really is impactful and very eye-catching. Yeah? At the end of the day, my brand needs to come to the forefront. Good. Caught you on the computer here. What are you up to? I'm just having a look at the screen here for our client birthday list. Oh, I want to see that. All right. So? Instead of just relying on day-to-day -day conversations, I'm actually using the information, such as the birthday list, to phone people. Fantastic. 
Okay, so what do we have here? So these are just some of the ideas that we've come up with in terms of our client retention strategy. Uh -huh. So we've put together these little bags. Every client that comes into the salon will receive one, whether they're a new client, an existing client. Okay. Yeah, it's top of mind awareness. Okay, so do I get to walk away with one of these things? Definitely. Do I get to pick one? Yes. Okay, I picked the manly box. <laughs> good choice, good choice. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, all these things make a promise about your brand. And that promise has to be met consistently. More importantly, it's the experience and what they get from you. Absolutely. And that's all over the place, which is great. Yeah. Heather is off to a fine start. It's apparent she's taken all the advice our experts gave her. Here's a little advice for you. Join us again next week right here for another brilliant episode of It's My Biz.